Thanks, Costanelius, uh, uh, for the introduction. So I'm from the uh, School of Computing Science. First of all, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to present our work around the management of local energy systems. Although my sort of you know, main and background are from the machine learning control systems, but we do uh, quite a lot of applications around energy, water, and building systems, right? So, uh, okay, so uh, where the energy system is currently undergoing a transformation from a fossil-based central supply to a renewable laid decentralized supplies. So uh, local energy systems or a microgrid system is one of the most uh, effective way to incorporate renewable generations and use that in, in renewable generations locally. Um, it is a very much an integrated energy system what we mean by that is that it brings together the production, storage, consumption, as well as the grid together. And, and horizontally, it also integrates the electricity, heat, and the mobility. So it integrates all these different sorts of you know, multi-vector demands. So in terms of mobility, you can use the electrical cars to either as the electricity consuming unit or as the storage to a to sell uh, electricity back to the grid. Uh, you can use technologies like the heat pump to convert the electricity to heat to supply a local community. So by doing that, you will have a, a local energy system that is pretty much uh, electrified. And given this integrated energy system, um, there are quite a lot of flexibility in terms of what we can do in order to bring down the operational cost so for example, you can um, charge the battery when um, they are renewable generation or when the, um, the, uh, the grid price is low. And then you can use that um, energy from the, from the battery when the um, grid price is high. But that flexibility is coming together with the significant uh, technical challenges. So we know that, especially in the UK, in terms of renewable energy generation, the solar and wind, they account for a large um, portion of the renewable generation. And given the nature of such a renewable energy resource, uh, its generation is quite intermittent. We also are facing a uh, uncertain demand, and as well as the constantly changing the electricity price from the wholesale market. This is not even to mention the tight coupling of the actual physical energy systems and the, um, the computing and communication networks, which brings another level of the security concerns. So, so our work to develop, you know, sorts of AI-based methods, the current is supported by <clears throat> projects funded by Innovate UK, that's Remedy, and also another Royal Society project. So uh, we try to develop a set of AI methods that can fully unlock the flexibility that is exposed by such an integrated energy system uh, while we are tackling the, the system dynamics and the complexity in a holistic way. So that brings out our work around, you know, for different angles. So that is modeling, optimization, protection, and control. So we're doing a whole system energy modeling to capture the interactions of the various energy components in the local energy system. We can see the energy flows. We can assess the different design options within the uh, local energy system. And then we can optimize the end system design. So things like we can size the PV, we can size the battery, given a particular community uh, demand profile. And uh, moving on to the uh, operational side, we can um, use the machine learning based approach to predict the generation of the wind, of the solar energy, we can predict the, the consumption of heat, electricity, the mobility, as well as the agreed price. Uh, with all this predicted information, we, we, so we know where what will happen in the future, and that information will be fed into the advanced smart controller design. So within that smart controller, we can optimize the operational signals for the energy assets. So things like we can, we can make real-time decisions how to, when to charge or discharge a battery, when to uh, import or export energy uh, to or from the grid. So um, with all these sorts of you know, smart technologies and uh, developed for such an integrated energy system, we can expect a significantly reduction of the operational cost. We can use as much renewable energy generation uh, as possible locally. So that uh, means we can have more renewable energy uh, penetration 
to the grid, that we also have to balance the uh, the, de- the demand and the supply uh, from the grid side because we will use much much more uh, renewable generation locally. So that's uh, all for my uh, sort of you know very brief instruction of what we are doing here around the local energy system management.